your phone. Here it is right this way. No, no, I will in a minute. I must finish this up before I can care for anyone. If you're so bothered, why don't you do it? <laughs> I suppose so. Well, you see, they're showing. Oh, 
Everybody else, that might be bad. Not for me, but for you. My neighbor has really good ears, you see. I think he fortified them with all the skin he eats. Maybe, maybe he made like a mega funnel so that more sound can enter his ears. Like a bat, except not cute. But, but he's not our only problem, see. The neighbor on the other side is a crazy, crazy old lady. And she only eats pickles. <laughs> you see, that, that would be fine, I guess. But, um, you know, she kept it to herself and all. But her dog pickles actually used to be really nice. And I liked seeing them around until I didn't see them around anymore. <sighs> I tried to avoid her now because last time I went outside, she had eight pickles to me. And I really don't want to be the next one. I'm sure you can understand. Okay. Let me just... Very gently. Dangerous around this place. 
Isn't it such a good job that I found you? And now I'm gonna patch you all up. We'll have to sneak you out back, but it's okay. I'm sure we can figure that out later. The agenda right now <sighs> is making you feel great again. Don't worry, you're in super capable hands. And you're gonna be good as now before you'll know it. <laughs> Not see now. I have to ask you a few questions, of course. These, these are for a bunch of different reasons. I gotta ask the personal information so that I can sell it to advertisers and stuff. What? A girl's gotta make a living. Stop being a doctor nowadays. I barely make minimum wage. You know? Mm hmm. Some of the other stuff will be to figure out what kind of ad space you're in. How well that brain of yours is working in there. Then I'll ask questions about other stuff I just wanna know. I don't know what those questions will be yet. We'll see how I'm feeling when I can't do them. <laughs> okay. 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 Question one. Can I get your phone name, please? Hmm. Okay. Question two. Your date of birth, please. Question 3. Adjust, please. <laughs> Not one word. Okay. Question 4. Would you prefer to see me? Donald's or Pizza Hut advertisements in your feed, please. Mm -hmm. Question 5. Where do you work, please? Oh. Nine. How are you feeling on a scale of one to ten? 
One is a really sad red smiley face with tears, and ten is a really happy grin smiley face with a big grin and little exclamation points around him because he's really happy and maybe a lord too. <laughs> Question 10 Which uh, Which country Are we in currently? <laughs> I see Yes <laughs> Okay Just a few more now these ones are the super fun questions, yeah, get excited. Question 11. You describe the chair you're sitting in as comfortable. Do you think this is a comfortable chair? Hmm? You see, I recently upgraded it, but some people, again, nor Sinclair, said that the old chair was comfy. For dinner tonight, would you prefer spaghetti or lasagna? No, the spaghetti doesn't have meatballs in the house. Oh no, they're microwave meals, but I cook them in the oven and make them crispy. Trust me, I'm an expert. <laughs> okay, good choice. Question 13 Are you feeling safe right now? And if not, is there anything I can do to help? Fluffy blanket, something cuddly, talking milk. Yeah? Okay, here you go. Question 14 Do you like my outfit? I think that is pretty cute, but Nor Sinclair says that it's not very professional. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> you think so? <laughs> In your face, Nor Sinclair. <laughs> okay, question. Do you feel comfortable with the facts and the nicknames? Okay. Do you mind if I call you Pancake? I'm pretty facts and not the words Pancakes. Okay, Pancake. Mm -hmm. Wow. Your full name is Pancake Yum Jimmy Daddy Ruby Jim Sunlight Beam Lillian the Night. But I'm just gonna call you Pancake. Let's look at your results real quick. I have no Sinclair back, please. She has really bad separation anxiety, and she might start crying if you don't give her back. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, okay. That's 
Review the results, nurse. <laughs> Please wait, Pancake. Won't be just a minute. Okay, pause it. you with my big doctor words. <laughs> you see, <sighs> I hate to tell you this, but it seems there might be something really wrong inside of your brain. I thought you were okay and, you know, you just bonked your head a little bit, but you said your address is in a country that doesn't even exist anymore. <laughs> You didn't know what year it was, you didn't know who was in power in the world's third and final country, sort of weird. In fact, wow, <laughs> if I don't know about it. Responses being so strange and dated, almost as if they're from another time. If I didn't know better, I'd say it's almost as if you're from from the, the mental hospital. You're a lot. You're not right. It's okay. You can tell me real quiet if you want. Nurse and Claire won't be able to. No. Really? You pinky promise? <laughs> you super duper mala jacker. Cross your heart and hope to die and stab needle in your eye promise. Really? Wow. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> you know, even if you were from there, I wouldn't turn you in right. I can help you on my son. <laughs> You're really not from there. <laughs> okay. No, okay, I believe you, Ben. Yes, the next step is a thorough physical examination to figure out if whatever is hurting you is something caused by your body or your brain. Either way, no problem for a professional. We'll get you feeling right as quick as you can say, thanks, Professor Lizzie. Okay? Wait, no, don't say it. Wait until I fix you up first, okay? All right, nurse. Yes, nurse, my gloves. <sighs> Thank you, nurse. <sighs> okay.
you store like oozing or something when I touch you? I don't want my fingers to get all icky. Mm -mm. You feel like oozing? It's no problem. Since I'm all safe now. Ooze away. It's becoming clearer to me. Yes. Now, let's see. 
I'm going to start by looking really deeply into your eyes. Please remember what I just told you. Let's stare deeply into each other's eyes for a moment. Yes. I'll gently come to your eyelid. To look closer into your eyeballs. Don't mind now, just, just keep staring. Keep staring deeply into my eyes. Yes. Very good. <laughs> you're not... You're not thinking about how, how dreamy my eyes are, right, Pancake? Keep staring. You're not seeing the ocean. Galaxy inside of them, right, Pancake? No? Good. Your pupils are a little dilated. Like, to about 300%. Is that normal for you? No. <laughs> you know, your pupils dilate when. You look at someone not too long. Hmm. Pancake, we've talked about this, haven't we? <laughs> Didn't you listen? We can't do this. We simply cannot. I... I'm gonna talk to Pancake. I'm here to make you better. I can't. No. You. How long have you had these feelings for me? Wait one second. Okay. You. You never told me. in your right ear. Hmm. 
Alright, thank you for bearing with me. Luckily for you, you don't have any sound box. Isn't that great? <laughs> but I am beginning to get an idea of what the problem is. Few more tasks to confirm. Let's take a listen to your organs. I'm gonna start with the most important organ. Your brain. Nurse. Nurse. Nurse? Ah, oh, nurse. My stethoscope, please. Thank you. Alright, thank you, nurse Sinclair. Now, let's take a listen. Might be a little cold. They'll warm right up. Let's see. Hmm. One more little lesson around the back. Oh wow. Hmm. All right. I'm understanding things quite clearly. Let me take a listen to your heart as well. Hmm. Oh. Sounds strong. <laughs> That's a great sound. Usually means sound. Is 
to a conclusion. Unfortunately, it seems that you are infected with a parasite known as brain worm. Yes, unfortunately, it is terminal. Yeah, very sad. But don't worry, don't worry. Some of your 
train themselves around the Comic Con people. Warm people, I mean. Yeah. They steal little chunks of your brain and they, and they wriggle around inside of your head and make you feel all sad because they're little misery beings. Sound effects include headaches and sleeplessness from the little worms wriggling around inside of your brain and keeping you awake. Also feeling stupider than usual since they're stealing parts of your brain. Also feeling all sorts of negative emotions since the worms are made out of toxicity. They give you lots of bad thoughts and sad feelings. The reason brain worms are terminal is that you say they eat all of your brain or they pollute it with so much toxicity that your brain can't function anymore and it just explodes. Yeah, explodes. It'll go like, like, boom, and and then the ooze falls out of your ears. <gasps> oh, but again, the legs, okay. We can join them out pretty easily. Mm hmm. I'm an expert in brain worms, so do not fret. All I need to do is open up the head of yours and pull them right out. That's all. Oh. Don't worry about the brain worms themselves. I collect them in a little door and release them somewhere they can thrive. I won't hurt them. There's a really mean farmer who lives down the block. He yelled at me when I stole. I mean, took one of his carrots. And look, I was hungry, okay? But anyway, I released the brain worms into his land and they'll pull it out of his soil and he'll never grow anything again. <laughs> That'll show <sue> him. <laughs> Maniac. The worms will be happy around in the wild anyway. Mm -hmm. They're probably all claustrophobic inside of your head. Not very much space for them to be happy and happy. Alright, so we have a little procedure hat. Don't worry, I won't hurt one bit. Okay, so I already removed your skull as you were unconscious, so we don't need to. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, why did I remove your skull? Um, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Regardless, it's gonna help us now. Shortcut. Yay. Easy. Look, it's right here. Your school is right here. It's a long way. I will put it all back on once we get those worms out. Alright. Alright, so, let's just run a little bit of numbing cream onto your head. You won't feel a thing. Actually, once I get poking around in there, I feel kind of nice. brain doesn't really have nerves anyway, but the worms might put up a fight and try to bite on the other side of the Don't you worry. 
I know my way around the moon. I won't book anywhere. I'm not going to cause you to get hurt or anything. Super dope. Sounds bad. Don't 
have to dig them up from the inside, it makes things much easier. Sinclair, could you pass me my forceps? I see, thank you. You see, I don't really like to touch the bright worms with my fingers. Oh, gross and squishy. Even wearing gloves. I don't really like wiggly worms. You know, I don't even like touching them with forceps. It's okay, because I want to help you. You've been dealing with these nasty little guys wiggling around in your head for so long, it's the least I can do. And... Got him! Let's put him in there. What a funny little guy. Look at him struggle. And... Devor.
Thank you very much. 